So as you may well know, the African Cup of Nations, AFCON, is starting today. And ahead of that, members of parliament have urged players of the senior national team, the Black Stars, to give out their best to win the top, topmost laurel of bringing the cup back to Ghana from Egypt. The African Cup of Nations begins in a few hours with Ghana seeking to end the decade of drought of trophies. The MPs are urging the players to exhibit patriotism to fly up high the flag of Ghana. The members are contributing to a statement made by the Goma West MP Kojo Asimenya. Of July, for the 32nd edition of the African Cup of Nations, being one of the participating nations, Ghana will be making her 22nd appearance in Group F, which comprises of Benin, Cameroon, Guinea. Guinea-Bissau on the 25th, 29th of June and the 2nd of July respectively. I would therefore implore the House to garner all the support that we can give to them so that they will bring the trophy hope. With one accord, we wish them well and our prayers are with them. Mr. Speaker, it is an undeniable fact that the Black Stars is one of the decorated teams in Africa. Since the inception of African Cup of Nations in 1957, Ghana has made 22 appearances and has tasted nine finals with four wins and five as runners-up. In the annals of African football, Ghana was the first nation to win the most converted Continental Trophy for four times, 1963, 1965, 1978, and 1982. As a result of this, the Blasters of Ghana was adjudged and was adjudged the undisputed champions of African football at the end of the 20th century. However, since the beginning of the 21st century, due to series of disappointments, Ghana has lost this sweet accolade to the pharaohs of Egypt for their dominance between 2006 and 2010. Mr. Speaker, it is worthy to note that after the triumphant victory over Libya in 1982, Ghana is yet to taste another continental glory, although the search for the converted continental trophy continued unabated. For 37 years, Ghana had made a record appearance of eight semifinals and three final appearances, of which all these eluded in all, all these ended in disappointment. Mr. Speaker, never in our football history have we experienced series of heartbreaks than the period between 2008 and 2017. Historically, Ghana was the first nation to make four consecutive semifinals appearance in the African Cup of Nations. This feat was recorded between 1963 and 1970. So that is the euphoria there in the House of Parliament as the MPs are cheering on the Black Stars. Let's come back to the studio and speak with Head of Sports for Media General Michael Oti, who is joining me in the studio. Michael, thank you for joining us. Pleasure to be here. So you have been doing a diary of the Black Stars as they prepare for mm -hmm. AFCON. What is new? Are they already in Egypt? Well, they arrived moments ago. The official Ghana FA handle tweeted photos of the players going down the escalator in Ismailia. Uh, they did fly over by a charter flight okay. uh, from their base in Dubai where they spent three weeks. We were privileged as TV3 and Media General to be there for one week of the period observing training in temperatures mostly of around 40 degrees because it's pretty hot mm. in Egypt. Um, observing the players go through training, getting their moves together, trying to build the right sort of team building. So the team is in Egypt at the moment and they will go through their usual training sessions, the welcome ceremonies, and then play their first game, which you'll see live here on TV3, and, and hear commentary of that on Onya FM, Connect FM, and Akoma FM um, on Tuesday, kickoff mm. time, 5 p.m. Mm. So, Michael, I'm told the last time you won something at the AFCON was 1982. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been very long. What is our chance this time? You know, my response to this every time has been that a chance this year 
it's no better than it's always been. It's no better than it was in '92 when we lost the final to Ivory Coast after the longest penalty, one of the longest penalty kicks in the history of international football. It's no better than in '96 when we were beaten in the semi finals, or in 2008 when, after reaching the second round of the World Cup, having some of our best players playing at home. I remember then the studios of TV3 was always adorned with newscasters wearing the national flag every office and we still couldn't win. Yeah. Uh, it's no better than it was in 2015. In sporting terms, this is not a, a particularly great team, but it is still a team that is very capable of competing. A team with players who have played at multiple Nations Cups, a team with some of the best youngsters in the world. And I, and I think that's what, for many people, gives them a bit of hope. But this by no means is a tournament where Ghana is favorite. Mm. So back home in Ghana, Ghanaians are depending heavily on media general platforms to have a feel of the AFCON. Give us the assurance that TV3 and other platforms are going to make sure that Ghanaians don't miss everything when it comes to the AFCON. Who are we looking at interviews and aspects and analysts coming inside? Well, I think you can already see from the build-up that we've done that we take this as seriously as possible. Traditionally, some of our best content has come from when the Blasters is playing a qualifier, and for us, the Nations Cup represents mm. uh, a, a very, a very big deal. So that's why we were in Abu Dhabi, in, in uh, Dubai, when they were preparing, as we did in uh, two years ago, as we did in 2015. Um, now that the competition itself is starting today, we will be on yeah. air um, from. I think it's the kickoff time is uh, 8 p.m. for the game, so we are on there from about 7 p.m. Building up to the game, running interviews. You see um, some of the uh, diaries build up running. Our uh, local FM stations, that is Unia FM, connecting Takradi, Akuma in Kumasi, in Accra. exactly, will run live commentary. 3 FM will run a special program, 10 a.m. every day. That's building up, that's wrapping up on what's happening at the Nations Cup, building up to it. Uh, part of our midday live presentations of our news 360 presentations and when everything is done during the day we have a, a one hour program live on tv between 10 30 to 11 30 mm. p.m reflecting on the day's action building up to the next we have interviews with everybody from experts around also on digital because mm. this would also be a heavily digital nation scap so uh, we have live updates on our social media feeds. We've already been posting yeah, a lot yeah. of the content that we derive from Dubai and the rest on the platform. So mm -hmm. uh, in many ways, just like our News 360 uh, idea says, we are covering this from every conceivable angle and making sure that people are, are informed as much as they can you be. Don't, you don't miss anything. So Michael, let's look at today. We know the opening ceremony is today. Yeah. How is Media General ensuring that we don't miss out on the opening ceremony and other interviews that will even precede the first match itself? We have. Um, we will be. We will be in the studio today. We'll be with with experts in the studio, building up to with the likes of Neil Lamptex, Ghana International, uh, the likes of John Pencil, who played in about five nations cups. Uh, we have expert interviews with people who know and understand what Egypt and Zimbabwe means. Yeah what the World Cup means. So from 6 p.m. when we are in the studio, building up to the first game, we will make sure that the various angles are covered. And this will be something that would go on and grow even better as the days happen. You know, for an opening game, there's a, a lot of anxiety. The yeah. team is not sure. You're not sure what opening ceremony we'll see. But we are committed and determined to ensure that you never miss the best moments of the tournament on this platform. Mm. So Michael's words are well committed and determined to ensure that you don't miss anything when it comes to Afghan. Thank you very much for joining us. Michael Otieje is head of sports at Media General.